Hi guys, now we are in law class. We are going to discuss one unique and interesting section today, section 52, which talks about securities premium. I will ask you all one question. Learn law logically. For exam, there is one provision that you have to learn. But I will teach you conceptually how you have to understand every section, like how we deal with every section. I am going to start off by asking you one question. Securities premium means what? In school days, we used to issue shares. That share capital chapter, our favorite chapter, 10 rupees share, issued at a premium of 2 rupees. So, what entry you used to pass? Bank account debit 12 to equity share capital 10 to securities premium 2. Correct? This is how we used to pass the entry. My question is, can securities premium be used for buying a house? Can I use, you would have studied this earlier itself, okay. Can it be used for buying a house? Can it be used for buying a car by director? Can the director use securities premium to go on a Goa trip? Can I use it guys? Answer. Everybody are saying no. The answer is no. Answer is yes. Your answer is no, it's wrong. Securities premium money can be used for buying a car, for buying a watch, for anything. Sir, what sir? You are teaching wrong things. Wait. First, let me teach you what is there in law. Okay. It is a huge misconception. Look at this. Exam, they will not ask you, can SP be used for this? But you need to know logic because when you get into articleship later, logic matters. SP can be used for what? As per section 52, it basically tells two things. Securities premium can be used for buyback of shares or issuing bonus shares. First, let me finish the discussion relevant for exam. Relevant for exam. Then I will reveal the suspense of how it can be used for other purposes. Okay. Buyback and bonus. How sir? What is the entry for bonus issue? In effect, my entry is reserves and surplus account debit to equity share capital. Yes. Yes or no guys. So, instead of debiting reserves and surplus, I can debit what guys? Securities premium account. Are you following? So, I can use SP for which SP? This SP that you earned 2 rupees can be used for bonus issue. Similarly, buyback. If 10 rupees share is going to be bought back for 15 rupees at a premium, what entry will I pass? Equity share capital account debit 10. I am paying to bank. I am passing net effect direct entries to bank 15. Premium on redemption 5. Correct off. Premium on redemption 5. So, equity share capital account debit 10, premium on redemption account debit 5, to bank how much? 15. This 5, I will later transfer it to securities premium by passing securities premium account debit to premium on buyback. Are you following guys? So, like this, SP can be used for issuing bonus shares and for buyback. Few other purposes how where securities premium can be used is... It can be used to write off the following. It can be used for writing off preliminary expenses. First of all, preliminary expense. Why am I capitalizing this? Where does preliminary expense come in balance sheet? In balance sheet, asset side, we write preliminary expense. And then we are writing off. Am I a fool? First of all, is it an asset? Look at the other assets in balance sheet. Bank, property, plant, equipment, data. If I sell those assets, I will get money. By selling preliminary expense, will I get money? Then why am I capitalizing preliminary expense first of all? That is a different set of discussion, different section. For now, that's why logic is I have to write off. But first of all, why am I capitalizing? Different section, different discussion. Now we will keep it to section 52. But I understand I am keeping one, what to say, one easter egg. Why? Suspense. We will come to that later. Next. 
Sir, for exam, I want to know, sir. First, let me finish exam points. SP can be used for buyback of shares, bonus issue, writing off of preliminary expense, writing off discount or discount on issue of shares or debentures. Writing of discount on issue of shares or debentures. If I have to write it again neatly, write off is for three things. Writing of preliminary expense, writing of, look at this, discount or commission paid on issue of shares or debentures. Look at this, write off discount or commission on issue of shares or debentures. Are you following guys? First of all, shares cannot be issued at discount. That's another discussion. Leave that. Sir, what sir? Writing of uh, discount on issue of shares and debentures. 100 rupees debentures can be issued for 90, can also be issued for 120. Issuing at 120 is issuing at premium. Correct? Uh? If I issue at 90, I am issuing at a discount. That discount I can write off using preliminary expense or any commission paid. And last point, if you see, for writing of premium payable on redemption of preference shares or debentures. So, last one, if you see, it is for write off of premium payable on redemption of preference shares and debentures. Are you following, guys? Are you all with me? Sir, for exam, first to what should I memorize? For exam, first to what should I memorize? Before I get into the core logic over here. For exam, security premium can be used for five things. First, for purpose of buyback of shares. For purpose of bonus issue. Next, for writing of preliminary expense. Next, for discount or commission on issue of shares or debentures and last one writing of premium payable on redemption of preference shares or debentures sir what is this sir for example 100 rupees share is redeemed by paying 120 redemption of preference shares my entry will be preference share capital account debit 100 premium on redemption account debit 20 2 i am writing directly we will write two shareholders shareholders to bank two directly bank 120 correct this 20 will be written off by transferring SP2 premium on redemption of preference shares. Are you following guys? We have a catch here. But first let us learn what is important for exam. Are you understanding? SP can be used only for this purpose. Okay. Now I am going to ask you three questions from this. Three questions I am going to give you answer only for one thing. See for exam, this is enough sir. I will pass an exam. If they, they have asked an exam past 5 mark question, what is the usage of securities premium? Buyback, bonus, write off of preliminary expense, write off, discount or commission on issue, premium on redemption of preference shares or debentures. Exam 5 marks pass go. But I am going to ask you 3 questions now. From this I am going to ask you 3 questions. Can I use SP for buying a car? You all said no. The answer is yes. I am going to prove it to you why. Next, I asked you already preliminary expense. First of all, why am I going to capitalize it and like a fool, I am again I am going to write off. There is a beautiful logic as to why I capitalize, which I am not going to reveal over here. I am not going to discuss about it now. We will discuss in a different class. And last one, for those who read redemption of preference shares chapter or in this section itself, it will tell you, look at this. A company which follows accounting standards as per 133 of Companies Act, they can use securities premium only for the purpose A, C and E above. That means a company which is following accounting standards cannot use securities premium for D. That means it cannot use for writing off premium on redemption of preference shares. That means all companies follow accounting standards. Huh? All companies follow accounting standards. So they are saying you cannot actually, in essence, securities premium cannot be used for write off of what guys? 
premium on redemption redemption of preference shares in accounts we would have studied this in buyback chapter we would have seen why can't premium be used for write off section is allowing on top again section is not allowing down are you following guys it says point d is not allowed so for exam what should i memorize a company which follows accounting standards under 133 cannot use premium for redemption of preference shares write off are you following guys so i opened three easter eggs three questions for you sp usage preliminary expense and this all three are beautiful concepts go search on google see if you are able to find out now i am not going to discuss everything it will be too much for you today we will discuss about this beautiful logic sp how we can use for buying a car okay if everybody are waiting for that only then good you are waiting for the concept no sir i don't need concept this is enough for exam you can close the video and go home now come here what is the entry when company issues 100 rupees share let's say at a premium of 50 face value 100 premium 50 bank account debit 150 two equity share capital 100 two securities premium 50 if i plot this in my balance sheet can i write bank 150 equity share capital 100 sp 50 of this so it looks okay now come back and read the account again properly look at this balance the wordings of section 52 of the company tax says balance in securities premium account can be used for the following purposes it's let's down the word balance is important that means it talks about this balance if i prepare a securities premium account i have 50 here this 50 can be used for five purposes that means if this 50 has to become zero i have to pass entry like this securities premium account debit 50 then the account will become 50 debit side account will become zero correct that means what i can credit to close my securities premium can be bonus buyback writing of preliminary expense and so on so all those five points that means the wording is not securities premium amount balance in securities premium can be used for the following five purposes that means this account can be closed by using all of this are you understanding guys clear however that that means section 52 gives me restriction of usage of balance in the liability side of balance sheet sp account movement of funds in liability side not bank balance see if i buy a car entry is let's say i buy a car for 150 full 150 i bought a mercedes benz okay car account debit 150 to bank account 150 bank gone replaced by car so now my balance sheet will look like this balance sheet share capital 100 sp 50 car 150 by buying a car is sp reducing no by buying a car is my sp reducing guys no are you following that means a reserve which was earlier backed by bank balance is now backed by an asset so i can use sp for anything sp money can be used for anything balance in securities premium account only i have these five restrictions if you go back to the journals that i passed everywhere you can see first i started with bonus and buyback look at this i am debiting sp account again here i am debiting for buy buyback sp account again in this example premium i am debiting sp account where all i can debit sp account section 52 talks about it are you following guys now i am understanding the logic guys so now come back to 52 section 52 talks about 52 talks about all of these for exam what remember sir these things 
are you understanding this point why can't i use sp for point d above i'll discuss in a separate session the logic for this i can tell you only when i go to section 68 buyback when i connect with buyback it will be a beautiful interlinking of sections are you following guys clear last one more point we have in section 52 where shares are issued for consideration other than cash you can transfer to sp that means 100 rupees share in the company 100 rupees share i am issuing at a premium of 70 so my entry will be two equity share capital 100 to sp 70 instead of receiving cash i am receiving consideration other than cash so let's say i received missionary i can write missionary account debit to this are you following guys that is the last point look at now read this where shares are issued for consideration other than cash buying missionary even the surplus value beyond the nominal value of shares in our example 70 shall be transferred to the securities premium account are you following guys so even though the section is done for exam sake concepts which we will learn later is preliminary expense and sp write off is not allowed for one thing i can also write up talk about discount on issue of shares you are saying we can write off no sir yes but discount of shares itself is not allowed in section 54 of the companies act 53 and 54 read along it's not allowed 53 it's prohibited 54 we talk about sweat equity shares are you following that we will see when we get there sir in exam what is important for me sir i am here to pass concept i understood what remember for exam in section 52 these points are you following guys understanding clear done with section 52 guys all of you understanding let's quickly revise section numbers randomly to see if you are able to recollect the section numbers guys our idea is before the class gets over all the section numbers you will learn what are the section numbers randomly section 3 real number of members good 3a unlimited liability next 12 registered office clause 13 alteration of moa 14 alteration of aoa 15 note alteration in every copy next 19 subsidy not to have shares in holding 29 dmat 39 allotment of shares 42 private placement 123 declaration of dividend 125 ipf loudly guys 127 penalty 126 abeyance loudly 123 subsection 3 interim dividend are you able to recollect the sections guys let's do some more sections let's say section number 31 shelf prospectus 32 Entering prospectus 52 take your duties premium what we just learned latest section that's it guys see you all in the next session thank you